Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Midwest Gunworks. And today we are going to be showing you how to properly clean and lubricate your AR-15. Let's check it out. All right, just like we start every video, before we do anything, we're going to wanna to make sure that this firearm is completely unloaded and there's no live ammo on your bench. The AR-15 is super easy to disassemble. That's one of the allures of it. So what we're going to do is remove the upper from the lower first. That's done just by pushing the two pins that hold the upper to the lower. After you push those, you'll notice that they're gonna capture themselves. They're not gonna fall out or anything. We're gonna set our lower to the side for now, and we're gonna start with the upper. To take the bolt carrier group and charging handle out, just pull it to the rear. The bolt's gonna come out and the charging handle can slide through the bottom of the upper where the cutout is. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is go over cleaning. I'm going to be using some Hoppies Action Cleaner. I really like this cleaner because it's got a lot of oomph behind it. Uh, it's got some pressure to it, so it really clears debris out. And what I like to do, to be completely honest, is just start spraying. Um, this action cleaner is going to dry out, but it's also going to penetrate any of the carbon or anything that you have located inside of the firearm. So I spray it, and then I'm just going to start wiping out all the crud. Now, Q-tips... Q-tips are your best friend. Go buy a huge pack of Q-tips. They're gonna last you a long time and it's super easy to get down inside of crevices that you can't get with a normal rag. All right, after I've cleaned the upper, I'm gonna move on to the charging handle and the bolt carrier group. The charging handle is very simple. You're just gonna spray it off and wipe it down. Uh, it's not rocket science, just clean it until it's clean. Then we're gonna move on to the bolt carrier group. Now I do disassemble the bolt carrier group, but it's very easy. First thing we're gonna do is remove the cotter pin that holds the firing pin in place. After you remove that cotter pin, you'll notice that the firing pin is gonna fall out. Then we're gonna move on to the bolt itself. To remove the bolt head, we're gonna need to remove the bolt cam pin. Bolt cam pin can be removed by twisting it 90 degrees and then pulling it out the top. After you do that, the bolt head can come out the front. So to clean, we're just gonna do the same thing that we've been doing. We're gonna spray it with our action cleaner, wipe it down with a rag, get into the small places with a Q-tip. Now sometimes your bolt, after firing a couple thousand rounds, is gonna have buildup. That's when you can use a, you know, a scraper tool or anything like that to really get all that carbon off. This firearm hasn't been shot a lot, so it's just dirty. It doesn't have a lot of buildup or carbon um, on it, so I don't have to scrape. I can simply just spray it down, wipe it, and then I know that it's good to go. You'll notice a trend going from start to finish with cleaning this. You don't have to get crazy if it's not you know built up with a lot of carbon or you don't have thousands and thousands of rounds through it. So to reassemble the bolt, we're just gonna work in reverse. You want the ejector on the left, and the extractor on the right when you put it back into the carrier. Then we're gonna put our cam pin in, rotate it at 90 degrees so that you can put your firing pin in. I drop the firing pin from the top or the back of the bolt, and then you can reassemble the cotter pin that keeps the firing pin in. Then you can just check to make sure that it's all free moving. Next, we're gonna move on to the lower. Now with the lower, if you don't have a lot of rounds, you don't have to get crazy. I usually remove the buffer and buffer spring, uh, wipe that down if it's got any carbon buildup, but usually the lower is not that dirty, unless like I said, you put a bunch of rounds down range. Then we're gonna take our action cleaner, and this is where that extra power of the, you know, the, the cleaner itself comes in handy. If you have uh, air attachments, um, you have a compressor, anything like that, then that helps also. You can spray it down, use that air to blast out anything that's down in the lower. After I spray it, then I start using Q-tips. I'm just gonna get down where the trigger is, where the safety is, down on the magwell, and just get it clean. 
So for lubricant, we're gonna be using Hoppy's number nine. Uh, it's not thin, but it's not super thick like grease. I think it works really well and a little bit goes a long way. You're gonna notice that I add a lot of lubricant at first, but then I get rid of the excess. So on the lower, you're really only lubricating a couple spots. The bolt release, I like to put down on and let it work down into the bolt release. Uh, the trigger on the springs, not the hammer itself or the sear or anything like that. And then sometimes you can add just a little bit of oil to your buffer spring. By a little bit, I mean a little bit. Moving on to oiling up the upper. Now I use just a very minimal amount on the upper itself. Um, I'll put it on a Q-tip and just, you know, kind of coat everything and give it a light film. Again, you don't want it dripping by any means, but you don't want it bone dry. Now the bolt may be a little bit more important to get in certain parts. Um, so what I'll do with the bolt is I'll take my oil and I'm going to dump a pretty good amount of it, uh, to be honest, but you don't need that much. Um, let's remove some of that. So I'm gonna add a lot and then I'm gonna take my rag and remove the excess. This is going to leave a thin film, kind of like a shiny look to it. That's the perfect amount of oil for the outside of the bolt. Now the bolt head um, inside where it rotates, you may want a little bit inside of there, but when you shoot it, that gas coming through the key is gonna blow a lot of that oil out so you don't have to get crazy with it. Just enough to coat it so that it's not super dry. So you may think, what about the gas block and gas tube? There's so much pressure going through the gas block and gas tube that you don't have to worry about cleaning it unless you have an insane amount of rounds down range. And then the barrel, if you have a lot of rounds, you know, you can run a patch or a bore snake through it, but usually the barrel is good to go. You know, run something down it, just clean it out, put a little bit of oil and you'll be ready to rock and roll. After everything is clean, we're going to reassemble. To reassemble, just put the charging handle into the slot, push it forward just a little bit, and then with your bolt carrier, kind of slap it, let that uh, bolt itself come to the forward position so that it slides into the upper, put the lower back on to the upper, and then you are ready to go. Now you will notice when you're done cleaning, there may be some oil you know, in different places, or maybe some cleaner, there may be some dirt here and there. Just kind of wipe it down and then test. Make sure that it's smooth, doesn't feel gritty. If your bolt feels like it's super dry or super gritty, you may wanna add a little bit more. Um, but if you guys have any questions on cleaning or lubricating your AR, make sure to leave those below. And as always, check us out at MidwestGunWorks.com.